everyone, Retro Girls UK is back for a brand new video and today we are off to the charity shops to do a little bit of hunting and raiding so if you are brand new here on our channel and you love physical media and video games as much as we do then why not hit that like button, consider subscribing but most importantly don't forget about that little notification bell so you don't miss any future content so what are we waiting for? Let's go! Yeah, so let's see what DVDs they've got. Mainly just generic stuff. We're just in the still book for that. Last planet. Okay. Yeah. It's all sports and singing games and it in charity shops. What is this? Oh no. Oh no, look at this. I thought it was like a storage drawer. Is there any like pins or anything in there? Like, no, there's like dominoes. If it was, it's not like chess and like, it's supposed to have chess now. You having a bit of trouble? <laughs> yeah. Caught on camera. Oh dear, oh dear. I heard that that was a pretty shit film. <sighs> Nothing today. Yeah, really? Yeah, really. Meant to change. <laughs> the hell is that? Yeah. <sighs> Caught on camera. I caught the. Then so it's time to check out Acorn. Then so it's time to pop in to see X.
Just be, just for the uh, that's too hot here. Just to drop the stuff back, and I'm having my hair dyed because look at the hair; it seriously needs dyeing. So in this video, my hair is going to change dramatically, which I cannot wait for. And then we're going to go back out and raid the charity shop if some it's more. Not too hot, I'm melting. She's melting away. Three hours later. And yes, look at that for a transformation done by my dear wifey. I am. Uh, she's sweating her something off but i am absolutely loving my hair it is the i feel uh, i feel more normal this is more me with the bright hairs maybe we should call us our bright colored girls or color for girls does that sound better she does not look a bit give us a smile ah give us a better one give us a smile you are looking new <laughs> yeah you do actually <laughs> So yeah, I'm absolutely loving my hair, so we're on our way to some... Sorry to say, I drank all the pop as well. <laughs> she drank all the pop. But never mind, play more where that came from. So yeah, we're on our way to some more charity shops and see what they've got in the stores. So the first stop is PDSA. Charity shop. to pop into a Acorns, we didn't catch this on camera, but we did buy this. It was two pound fifty, and Michelle reckons that it's a switch and controller. It's, like turns on, look, which I didn't realize just. Yeah, it's not only two pound fifty. So I reckon it is because the ZR, ZR is a switch, isn't it? Yeah. And then four. At least you know it works. Good luck. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it's not nothing dodgy. And my controller got it has batteries and it's just pissy. Yeah. So she's finally got another it's time controller. to check out the blue rays in parallel. that colour? Yeah, but it's rank. It looks disgusting. It looks disgusting. So, Lisa, what have you got? I got the Terry Peach. Show me. Very peachy, but mine is sugar free. Okay. Let us know what you think of it. Okay. 
I'll try anything once. That needed to be something. Good. Mm. That's quite nice. Let actually. me try it. You have the camera. Oh, it's thank you very much. Yeah, it stinks. You're not gonna like it. Oh. That tastes nice. No. <laughs> Look at the face oh, on that. Drank my so spooky under here. Look at the state of it, like people like piss up the walls and everything. Yeah, it's too fast. Yeah, it stinks, man. I love it, Yeah. So, yeah, the reason you've seen us looking at the munch section in Poundland is because we're going to the cinema tonight, but we're not too sure what we're going to be watching. It's either Nope, uh, Super Pets. Nope. <laughs> no, Michelle always said no to that. Or Bullet Train, so. I said no to Nope. Oh, no. See, I'm a bit sorry.
basically going in with a, a blind guess. So we've just come out of the cinema and we went to watch Nope and I'm not going to lie to you but I literally wish I said that word before we chose it because it was just so boring, it was so shit, the storyline didn't make no sense, apparently it's like some UFOs sucking people in but then at first it looked like uh, hot air balloons and then near the end they looked like mushrooms but uh, because I've been, <clears throat> I started Walking Dead for the very first time and I'm on season 10 and because I heard that Stephen Yang was in it, I think that's his name, who played Glenn, I was like, oh okay, this might be quite good because I'm not really familiar with his work, but even, even his acting, there was just like nothing to it, it was so boring, <laughs> and about three people left. That's how shit it was, it, it literally it did nothing to satisfy my needs, it was just so crap. That is one of the movies that I would never pre-order. It was just, I can't even explain it. It was just so, so boring. Like the storyline, everything, it just didn't make sense. And the guy that played the main dude, like his acting, it was all like wooden. So I don't know if anyone's noticed, but in all of his, all of his movies, yeah, his, um, what do you call it? His uh, uh, <laughs> facial expressions, they're all the same for some reason. So yeah, I just was not a fan of that movie. It made no sense whatsoever to me. It was really boring. Michelle, did that tickle your uh, cabbage, that movie? Hang on, I can't see if you turn around. So it was the worst film ever. I took my glasses off halfway through <laughs> and decided to have a little kip. We couldn't get out because at the end of our role, we wanted to the, the people next to us. So we'd be polite sitting there. I would have walked out. <clears throat> he can't act to save his life. There was no real story going to it. That's uh, some bloody thing. It looked like a plate at first. <laughs> Not you fold. I think it's you fold with a cloud. It was no story The acting was bland. Where did they go to? I'm not being funny. Bloody Stone could act better. Yeah, it was like they just thought... I judge them, not finished. Oh, okay, you yeah. you have your hands it's, you do... it's not very good, it was just like... You just see them from the tray, it was meant to be really good. But there was no certain... And it was just ridiculous. Like the woman, um, I think it's his sister. I don't know, the main actor dude. I don't know. Him. His sister couldn't act to save his, her, her life. Um, the dude had The Walking Dead. Like, he wasn't even in it that long. And he was just bland acting. Like, if you, you could tell his accent was fake. He was supposed to be some cowboy accent. It was fake. And then uh, they brought some monkey into it, which I have no idea what the monkey was to do with. And, uh, and it was, like, skipping between the horses. Ugh. Sorry, but spoilers, no, no. no. I should have watched. We should have waited extra half an hour, but someone didn't want to wait over here. It was bullet train. I blame Lisa. Yeah. And I'm faced with my milkshake. Okay, okay. Yeah, so basically it was like, okay, we're going to film a load of scenes and then just mash them all together. Like, there was no thought into it. The story just did not make sense. At As all. you would see on the trailer, it's something to do with his dad. But they didn't really explain what was going on. There's like some horse trainers. And then it jumps, like, in the middle of the thing where they see this cloud thing. And it's, they kept jumping and it just made no sense. Yeah, because at the beginning of the movie, first I said it was like a plane or something. And then it was a UFO, so which one was it? Like, like stick to one storyline and stop confusing us. It and then was, it wasn't a UFO, it was an alien or something. Yeah, it was just a big no-no. So yeah, that's our little review slash rant about nope. Maybe that's why it's called nope, because when someone asks you, you want to watch it, you're supposed to say nope. Yep. And we might be going to some more charity shops tomorrow. Yep, big day tomorrow. The next okay, so it's actually the next day because when we got back, obviously because we went to the cinema and we got back about half ten, it was just I was really tired, so it was just way too late to film the pickles. But I do have them in front of me as promised because we hit it big time. So I'm gonna start with the stuff from Cast Gen because we popped into Cast Gen. So for two pound on the Game Boy Advance. Michelle got herself fairly odd parents clash with the anti world. So you got yourself a nice Game Boy game there. We thought we owned this, but we checked the list and found out that we didn't. We only paid £2 for that. 
and then we only paid £10 for this on the PS5 Nerf Legends. We watched the gameplay to this and it's like, but if you look at the back it's like Call of Duty style and you can play online as well. So we're looking into getting a se second copy for that because obviously me and Michelle we have separate sides of the room so we can play games against each other. Because let's be honest, playing two player games on the same TV, well it sucks. So yeah, love, love it, love it, love it. And then we picked up Freddy vs Jason on Blu-ray, only for a pound. I already have this. This is traded into, uh, we're going to trade this into CX because everything we're trading into CX, we're going to keep the vouchers and we're going to build up a nice big voucher so Michelle can finally get herself a PS5, which will be nice. And this is from my collection. So I got The Last Exorcism Part 2. Because the Blu-rays was two for a pound, so I was just picked up Freddy vs Jason. So then I just picked up this one for myself. Never watched the movie. And then Michelle picked herself up on the Xbox One Rise of Tomb Raider, only for two pound. And then for two pounds as well, Star Ocean till the end of time. Never heard of this game. Uh, Michelle checked on CX, and I think they sell this game for four or five pounds and this one comes with a nice manual and this one has two discs it's uh, not very often you come across PS2 games that have two discs let's be honest Michelle got herself Sunset, Over Over a little bit. Sunset Overdrive for a pound Xbox One and now time for PDSA oh my god so this pile only came to three pounds so of course we had to pick up a bit of manga so we got virus buster surge volumes one to three nice big box set this is absolutely awesome i love finding deals like this so you got your put them in the right order lisa so there you go you got your volumes one to three very nice and then I came across this on the very top shelf Happy Time Murders and uh, Michelle chose to have this on DVD because you can't buy this on Blu-ray in the UK so unfortunately we're going to have to import it when Michelle does decide to have it on the Blu-ray which is not a problem and then we got Cowboy Bebop the movie never heard of it but got a little bit of uh, anime how about animated blood and iron never watched this i did know that they did an animated how boy but i've never watched it because i just i had no idea i never seem to come across it i haven't really watched the movies either i've only ever watched the first one and then I picked myself up Elimination Chamber 2015 and then Summer Slam 2008 Steelbook Edition which is very nice indeed so that is everything that we managed to pick up today so we hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to hit that like button hit that subscribe button comment and share don't forget to join us on all our social media accounts. All the links are down below. So thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next video.